Jim Sharp, Bodacious. What a matchup. Let's take a look at it and see what you think. Now we're going to take a look at one of the great matchups of all time, the legendary Jim Sharp against Bodacious, rankest bull of all time. Whenever you got a bull this rank, uh, this much power, uh, anything can happen. One mistake can, uh, can really lead to disaster. Uh, right here towards the end of the ride, everything was perfect up until then. Got him leaned a little bit away from his hand, got that left arm back. That's going to give the bull leverage. Turns him a New York flip, so you see a lot of power there. Let's take a look and see what happened. Uh, coming out of that gate, Jim's perfect. Meets the kick. You want to ride that momentum out in front of your rope. Uh, these high-level bulls like Bodacious, they ride good in one spot. That's out in front of the rope. butt has got to be even with the rope or farther in front. Get out there, uh, great foundation, good bend in the legs, uh, set the hips, he goes back front, uh, see the daylight under his hips. Now one of the things about Jim Sharp that made him so great was you don't want to hold that front end any longer than possible. Once you get to the front end, set your hips. Now he lets, watch the daylight disappear under there, right there, even before the bull starts down, he sets down, follows that rope down. That was one of his secrets to control. Seven seconds into the ride, he's still forward and uh, then all hell breaks loose uh, and let's take a look why now right here as this bull come up see where that left arm is it's back his butt's behind that rope that is the house of pain between the rope and the flank and uh, what gets you out of that area is that that riding arm you got to drive it coming off the kick push yourself out in front of that rope otherwise you they're going to get leverage at you and uh, he gets a lot of leverage at him here for about a flip and a half and pounds him into that ground uh, yeah, so he didn't win that one. Well, there we've seen Jim on uh, whew, the most powerful bull in the business. Uh, but uh, after you get on one like that, you need a little reward. You need to get on one that's a lot of fun. So let's look at him at a, on a different type of bull where you want to get a different body positioning. Uh, this bull here uh, is what we call a capriolar. So let's take a look at him and then we'll watch him back in slow motion. But you'll notice Jim not moving as far forward on this bull as he was. He kind of he's sitting down uh, behind, uh, spurring, whipping. Uh, uh, real pretty bull to, to watch ride. They win a ton of firsts on him. But probably 9 out of 10 guys, would, uh, would good bull riders, would ride him. And the reason being is when, when uh, this bull goes up, uh, he goes up in the middle. See, his head is down in the front, his, his butt is down in the back. So it's kind of like riding an elevator. Right where you're sitting just comes right up under you and just carries you up in the air. Uh, the hardest uh, thing about a bull like this is to keep your butt from laughing while you're on them because they are really fun to ride. Here he'll come around and as he comes up, he starts up in that middle again, right under you. They come right up under your butt and all you gotta do is stick out your chest and throw your arm behind your head and, and make an ugly face because uh, they're really not that difficult to ride uh, and they're very enjoyable. Uh, you still got to maintain mechanics. You got to have a good bend in your leg. You got to keep your back straight, good posture, but stay right in your zone. Don't go left. Don't go right. Just straight forward and straight back, but you're not going to go very far forward on a Capriol and Bull because there again, as they start up in the front end, they're already coming up in the back end, and what comes straight up at you is right under you, and that's why you're able to rear back and spur and really have some fun on a bull like this. And, and uh, you know, there, there again, it's when you draw one of these, uh, you know, your rider's always got a smile on his face because he's not going to have to put out a lot of effort. He's going to have a lot of fun, and, uh, and you don't have the danger of a bull like Bodacious. <laughs>